Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shilindo, and today we're playing a new game called Flame Over. Flame Over will be available May 28th, 2015. It describes itself on the Steam Store as blending top down, squirt em up action and pie rogue like game mechanics. Flame Over features fast paced firefighting dr uh, thrills. I almost said drills. Randomly generated levels of four different game zones and dastardly hazards at every turn. So, yes, today we are going to fulfill our collective dream of being a firefighter. That's right, all of us dream to be this guy. With a giant mustache and all. We're going to do the tutorial level because I'm going to not be able to function properly if I have to explain everything while I'm doing it. Because this game runs on a pretty tight timer. You see at the top there's a 20 minute timer, but on the actual game... Oh, in the first level, there's actually only a five-minute timer. And you have 16 levels to get through, so, yeah, it's kind of tight. <laughs> kind of tight to get through uh, all that in five minutes. But you get more time whenever you bring someone back and save them. But anyway, Blaze is our main character here. Uh, you can move Blaze with WASD. You can move the camera with the middle mouse button and rotating your mouse around. So it's good to, you know, just rotate so that you can see the fires better. I like to approach left to right on, on new rooms, so I will be going in like this. Uh, if I need water or uh, extinguisher, or I can refill it here at the little fire station. And here's the exit, so if I, wa I when I'm ready to leave the level, I can go to that, that exit. So, I walk up to the door, F to open, F. So I can, uh, I, I aim, I, uh, with the left mouse click, I shoot my hose. With the right mouse click, I shoot my extinguisher. Uh, so basically, yeah, strafe, you want to kind of water snake everything, and the hose puts out all fires except electrical fires will catch on fire again, and you have to put those out with the extinguisher. So there you go. That's how you play the game. Um, so, like it says here, soaks the environment, makes fire take longer to spread. The extinguisher puts out fires quicker and puts out electrical fires, but doesn't soak the area, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. So we can just kind of go in here and see the red reticle going around my character. That's showing me that I'm getting too hot. I need to exit the room or get to a cooler location. Otherwise, I will not survive. So yeah, heat meter. It start flashing yellow if I'm in immediate danger, like so. And then I need to back away from fires, or else I will lose a heart. If you look at the top right-hand corner, I have five hearts. One is currently on fire. But that's okay, I move away and that heart gets put out. Awesome. So the room is safe. If you see the thermometer in the bottom left hand corner, you can see how close I am to other fires. So if I go this way, I can tell there's a fire in that direction. So I'll go ahead and just open this door. Oh my word. Okay, throw, some wa throw a water bomb in there, that's X. And we'll go ahead and put out the bottom half and then we'll put out the top half. So water doesn't work on electrical fires. That's the little black smoke you see here. We need to use extinguishers to put those out. That'd be this thing right here. And then I gotta make sure I put out, uh-oh. Stayed in the room too long. It's me talking too much. Going to the next room. Okay, this, this is a cool thing. Uh, so the electrical fires are annoying to deal with because they keep coming back unless you fire extinguish them. So if you head over to the electrical, you can actually turn off the electrical. And by doing this, there's no more uh, electrical fires in the map, so I can use my hose to put out everything. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more water, by the way. So if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, you don't start with all these items, but it lets you use them in the tutorial. So this is the moving really fast boots. The next one is the heart monitor, so if I open my map, it'll tell me about, you know, obviously tell me about the map. And if you have your special upgraded items on while you look at the map, it'll show you the stuff. So I can see people here because I have a heart monitor and I'm looking at my map. Here's a kitty, there's a couple people, and there's Miss Ion, we'll go over her later. Next thing I have on my list is this uh, thing right here. I don't know what it does yet. Um, hmm. Maybe that's for pets, and this is for people. Yeah, I think this revives pets and this revives people. I could be wrong, I don't know. I don't know what that does. And then uh, this is for detecting where fires are. If you look at my mini map or look on the main map, you can see little glowing things to show where the next fire is. So that's pretty much it. I really like having the thermal meter because I like to see which direction to go in to find fires. Um, so let's go and finish off this area up here. So we'll smash down this door with our trusty fireman's axe. And then we'll rush in and put out all these fires. Uh oh, this room is catching on fire again. <laughs> there we go. Refill. So I can refill at some of these places like, like there. 
smash the door, smash the door, smash the door. We're gonna turn, and there we go. Go in. Okay, awesome. That's another room out. This whole wing is clear, I think. Yes, so now we can start going north. North is the direction. So we're gonna go east, that's why. That's why I keep my uh, my my map rotated. Obviously, if I remember, uh, your first job is to grow a mustache, and the other thing is to save people and cats. So in this room, we'll find people and cats. The uh, the Z button will allow them to follow, and if I hold Z, it'll tell them to wait. So I can basically get them to follow me to the exit. I'm throwing a water bomb there. Hopefully, that helps put out some of these fires. Water bombs are really cool because they'll they'll put out a large area and it, they'll put it out remotely to your location based on where you're facing so you just kind of throw it in here's a person we'll go ahead and gra drag him out P people are kind of slow so if you go too fast you'll leave him behind but he's keeping up pretty good so there you go got one you get one minute for each person you save you get a heart for each kitty you save so kitties very valuable you must save the kitties uh let's see M we're going gonna take a right Yes, a right. By right, I mean east, and by east, I mean right. I'm gonna put out this fire. Put out that one. And we're gonna leave him here. We can come back for him as soon as we're done putting out the rest of these fires. We don't have to save him right now because he's not in any immediate danger. Whereas this person is. There's Miss Ion over there. I need to get out of here. Oh, too late. It's easy to lose track of, of what you need to be doing when you're uh, talking on YouTube. Let me just say that. So I can drag this guy out, but if we talk to Miss Ion, uh, she's Miss Ion? Mish, Mish Ion? Mission! Okay, there we go. I get it. And she will drop upgrade tokens if you get her the things she asked for. She's not going to leave until you get her the things she asked for. So she's the typical, you know, difficult person. And she wants her red bag. She said she left it in a meeting room. Well, we're in a meeting room, but it's not necessarily this meeting room. It could be another meeting room. It probably is. And so we're going to go ahead and let's drag these people out while we have them close by. And if you look on the edge of the screen, you see where it's green. That shows me the direction of the exit. So I just follow the little green hue on the side of the screen. And I'll get out. Open open the map. We're going to... Yeah, we probably need to clear out the rest of that wing and then, then head to the next wing. So, it's okay. I'm here. I'm a fireman. I'll save you. Everything will be okay. Oh, there's a kitty. We have to save the kitty. Mr. Kitty, I will save you. You're important to society. We need you. Oh, found the red bag, too. Found the red bag. Is this your red bag, Miss Ion? No, yes, it is. She'll drop an upgrade token. And I can have her follow me. Now, if I need to leave somebody in a room, like there's a fire nearby, I need them to wait. I'll just tell them to wait. I can go put out the fire, come back, pick up my peeps and bring them towards the exit, following that little green haziness. Yes, we have saved Miss Ion, and we have saved, mo most most importantly, even more importantly, we, we've saved the kitty. The kitty is important. We need more kitties in, in the world. Whoa, okay, this is gonna be a pain. Because there's gonna be a lot of electrical fires in here, and there's a person who needs, who needs saving. So if we don't put out the fires fast enough in this room, he will asphyxiate, and he will um, pass out, and we'll have to revive him. Let's put this out, put this out. Yes, okay. Yes, I'll go ahead. You're going to go ahead and wait right here, just away from that doorway. Go ahead and put all these out. Oh, all those poor computers. This is making me so sad. I got a lot watch when I get too warm. Got way too warm. Must save the computers. Oh, that's a server room. That's a terrible thing to do to a server room. You know what heat does to servers? Actually, that might not be a server room. I can't tell. Need to refill. So as I'm using, um, as I'm using all the hose up. Uh oh, uh oh, run away, run away, run away. Okay. As I'm using up my hose, it will eventually run out of hose hosedness. And I will need to then, I will need to then go and refill it. I'm going to try to put out the rest of this room with the extinguisher. Because I don't want to go out just yet. 
Man, come on. This thing does not want to go out. There. Finally. That room's good. So if I look at my map, if I need to refill, there's water in, There's water right here. There's water right here. There's also, as we saw, water near the exit that's unlimited. So if we need water, we can definitely go there. But going to a close by place like this, like a water fountain, and filling up your hose, great idea because, you know, you might need to be over in this way and then there's the, the main refill station way on the other side of the building and you're running out of time and you just got to use what you got. So, you know, look around, see if you find something that can fill up your hose and then fight more fires so this is a bathroom so this will have a lot of places where I can refill and there we go we put out all the fires now we have to go to the fire exit so we need to grab this guy let's put on our heart monitor make sure we got all the people yep we've saved all the people we need to go to the right and then down so that'll be this way nope that'll be this way and then this way by right and down I mean down and left because the mini map rotates there we go, saved everyone, and now I can leave. And that will go, we'll now go to stage two. Basically, different levels of the same office are on fire, and you have to get through all the levels. The, the first, excuse me, water bombs are X. Yep, we already saw water bombs. So the first uh, stage after the tutorial, it has like 16 levels to it, and you start with a timer of five. So you can imagine this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna take you a pretty good long while just to get through the first level, and not, you know, die like I'm about to get away from the get away from the flamey flaminess come on oh that's already that's still smoking there okay cool so we'll go back this way we can go in to the left that's smoking need to put that out that's the entrance let's go ahead and grab some water over here I'm here to save you people follow my voice stay low I hear somebody coughing in here hope they're okay Stop, drop, and roll. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Put that out. Oh, that's got to be put out with an extinguisher. That's some black smoke, so extinguisher. Levels get a lot easier when you do um, find the electrical. Oh, no. He passed out. We have to use the defibrillator. Oh, oh, oh. Clear. There we go. Come with me, sir. We'll get you out of here alive. There you go. Thank you for the extra minute. Run for your life. So, open. And we're going to put this out. And we're going to put this out. And we're going to put that out. And we're going to put that out. Oh, I see some black smoke. Black smoke is evil. Oh, oh, oh. You can actually put out those fireballs if you spray the hose on them. Yeah, it was just the right amount of time. Or at just the right. Just the right at time. At the just the right... At just the right time. There we go. I got it. Finally. That only took forever. Where are we going now? Refill? Yep. Refill. Going to the right. There'll probably be a fire in here. I, I probably should be putting on my heat sensor. Yep. Fire in that direction. Oh my. That's a big one. And there's a poor kitty in here. We have to save the kitty. We have to save the kitty. Put this here. Put that there. Can we use that? Oh. I don't know what that other thing does. That little that little um, pet thing. I don't know. Yep, get out of here. Come on. We gotta go. Okay, you wait here. I gotta put out the fire. No, wait. Wait here. No. You. No. You. Wait here. No. Okay, there we go. Couldn't quite get that to work. I think I was pushing the wrong button. Uh, okay. I think we're okay. I think we just need to stay near the door. Uh oh. Am I running out? I'm running out of water. Come on, put the rest of them out. There's extinguisher stuff. There we go. Okay. I need water. I am very thirsty, and so is my hose. Oh, I already used that one. Yep. Kitty, follow me. Come on, kitty. This way. Nope. 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 Wrong button. There we go. Got an extra heart. We saved another very important kitty. And we need to go up up here and take a 
right and then go down and then put out the uh, turn off the electrical power here that'll make our lives a lot easier go up here here's our first shopkeep the caretaker shop so for some reason he's not worried so much about the fire and you can look and you can actually buy different upgrades and he'll have different upgrades just like in uh, Zelda games they'll have like three and then they'll kind of be randomly generated so you got the super axe the max health and the water bomb here today I'll get the max health and the super axe and the water bombs because I have tons of money that's why we'll go ahead and go down and we're gonna go oh power-ups so these are all it describes all the power-ups that are in the game I don't have all of them but you got the gas mask, the holy water, the speed boots, the spiked boots, thermal, goggles for the map, the heartbeat sensor for the map, catnip activate, and defibrillator activate. I don't know what the catnip does. I don't understand. And then magnifier is on there as well. You can mag uh, activate them with R. I haven't quite figured out the catnip. Or really many of the things at all. Hey, we can move the map. That's interesting. I was wondering why I was moving. So right, and then maybe up. Oh, there! Uh, we, I thought we were already. I thought we already put this room out. Okay, now we put the room out. Smash the door. I'm here to save you, people. Whoa, that's a big fire. I, I, I'm not quite ready to save you, people. I'm gonna have to put these fires out first. Then I'm saving you, people. Okay, okay, out. Yes, good. Okay, smash the door. Smash, 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 smash. Oh, hey, there's a person, and he's waving at me. He's like, yay! Okay, I'm helping you, I'm helping you. You're okay, you're okay, everybody's okay. You're gonna be fine, sir. Follow me. You too. Man, you guys are slow. Pick up the pace. Act like you're running from a fire here. Come on, people. I'm carrying around a huge extinguisher and a hose and a helmet and this huge coat thing. And you're just kind of like jogging. I'm like out sprinting you with this stuff on. Seriously. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. Gonna go to the right. Did we already clear this whole thing out on this side? Yes, we did. So we have to turn the camera and then go over here. Put up, put up, put up, put up. Hooray! Hooray! We are saving people. We are saving people. Put all of you out there. Um, all these would be electrical fires where we turn off the electricity. Sweet. All right, you, come with me. Actually, no, you, stay here. Do not follow me. I'm going somewhere you do not want to be right now. Throw these water bombs in there. Kind of saturate that area. Oh, yep. Cool off a little bit. and grab that water. Oh my. That was close. That was really close. Got hit by a fireball. Those fireballs really hurt. Okay, he's uh he's gonna pass out in a second. Okay, you follow me. You follow me. I'm taking you in the wrong direction. Don't follow me. Go in the opposite direction. Okay. Where is the exit? Exit is up here and left and down and right and down. You guys designed a very weird office. Let me just say that. This thing is a maze. It's not amazing. It's just a maze. There is a fire up here. Why is there still a fire up here? There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at our heart monitor. Look around, make sure we saved all the peoples. We have saved all the peoples. So we can go and we can head for the exit. We are a superhero firefighter. There we go, find your way back to the exit. Will you be able to make it through all 16 floors of the Infernal Industries building? Probably not, and I agree, because I've already tried. It is very, very difficult. So we're going to head out here, and boom. And that's basically the game of Flame Over. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, I would like to see uh, if you guys want me to play more of this. See if I can get through the, the levels, save a bunch of kitties, you know, save a bunch of office workers, get a bunch of money, buy a bunch of stuff. You know, basically do everything you just saw me do in the past 20 minutes. And there's my game stats. You can see uh, there's options if you're curious to see what the options look like. Uh, you can do all that configuring that you normally would expect in a game like this. Ooh, configuring. Exciting stuff. 
And then uh, we also have leaderboards so you can see how you're comparing against other people. We got Ghostlight LTD. The developer has 1 million as his score. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's obviously played a lot of this game considering he made it. And then you can see 17,377 is down here. So, cool. All right, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to play more of it. This has been Flame Over. It's available May 28th, 2015. You can find links to the game down in the description uh, to both the website and the Steam store page. These are the people who made this wonderful game. Feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.